Welcome to a demonstration of the industry's first 8 and 32-bit compatible devices, the Flexus QE128. We made unique enhancements to the hardware and software to make the transition between both devices quick and easy, and perfect for designing for a portfolio of products along a price and performance spectrum. The Flexus QE128 devices share four major features and benefits. 1. Ease of migration. 2. Availability of a single tool suite to support both SO8 and Coldfire V1 products. 3. An optimized architecture with a rich peripheral library to give you high performance. 4. Ultra low power design that keeps you at high performance while staying within your power budget. You may be asking, the benefits are clear, but exactly how are these QE128 devices so compatible? How does it actually work? Scott Pape and Eduardo Montanez, the lead system engineers for the QE128 products, will now demonstrate how the full solution is so easy that it will change the way you design in the future. Today we're going to show you a demonstration of the Flexus QE128 demo devices from Freescale. We're going to start with a brief description of the hardware that we're going to use. This is the demo QE board. This demo board has a daughter board concept where we use two different daughter cards that basically just have the MCU on them. There's both an 8-bit and a 32-bit versions of the daughter cards. Also on this board are several components. Uh, the main one we're going to be using today is Freescale's 3-axis accelerometer. What we will be doing is taking the data from this 3-axis accelerometer and graphing it to a, a capture program on the PC. One of the things that makes the, the Flexus Duo so easy to use is the Code Warrior software. This Code Warrior version 6.0 software uh, supports 8-bit and the Coldfire V1 MCU families. So we're going to start with the SO8, build the project for an SO8, program the part, uh, execute the code, and then we will immediately switch over to the 32-bit processor. So right now we've launched Code Warrior and we're building the project and now programming the SO8 QE128 MCU. Okay. Now that the part is programmed, we will launch an interface. And this interface has four bar graphs, and a line graph, and then the raw data that's being fed in from the microcontroller. So the red, green, and blue lines are the three axes of the accelerometer. The orange bar is a measure of CPU cycles that it's taking to perform calculations. OK, now we want to show how quickly we can switch back to the 32-bit processor. So we're going to stop the A bit. We come into Code Warrior, we use the change wizard, select the cold fire version 1 of the QE128, select the proper target, recompile, and program the device. Code Warrior version 6.0 makes switching between Flexus controllers extremely easy. All we have to do is simply switch the daughter cards on the demo QE board, turn power on, program the device, and now run it. So you can see that we have the exact same application running on the 32-bit version as was running on the 8-bit version. And now we're going to show that it's just as easy to go back to the 8-bit version. Program the device.
The 8-bit device is now programmed and is back running the demonstration program. And so there you have it. That's how easy it is to switch back and forth between Freescale's Flexus QE128 devices. Thank you for joining us. For more information on the QE128, please go to freescale.com slash flexus and sign up for our global seminars or follow our online training. If you'd like to try this demonstration for yourself, everything needed to run this demo and everything that we've shown today is included in the Demo QE Kit.